Turkish actress Hülya Afsar has opened a suit for damages against leader of the main opposition Republican People's Party, CHP, Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu after he staunchly criticized her praise of the new presidential palace as sycophancy. Her lawyer claimed Kılıçdaroğlu's accusations against Afsar were disproportional and humiliating, adding they would demand 100,000 Turkish liras of non-pecuniary compensation. The row erupted soon after the actress said in a statement that the palace, also known as AK Saray, White Palace, was far from being lavish and describing the criticism against it as exaggerated, following a visit to the controversial complex along with a delegation of businesswomen. I found the palace very modest and not ostentatious at all. They made it as it should be. In time we will understand how useless today's debates were. Afsar told reporters following her visit December 5th, before adding I was almost going to say that my house is even more luxurious, prompting general laughter and Kılıçdaroğlu's fury. Kılıçdaroğlu, who had joined public criticism over the cost of the palace at 1.37 billion Turkish liras, $615 million, according to Finance Minister Mehmet Simsek, questioned Afsar's responsibility as an artist. No sycophant can be an artist. Artists do not bend when they face power. Those who do it are not called artists, Kılıçdaroğlu had said. Afsar, one of the most important public figures in the Turkish entertainment world and well accustomed to quarrels with other celebrities, was not late to retaliate, saying she knew that Kılıçdaroğlu was not a leader and wasn't sure if he was even a politician. My client has not earned her acquisitions with sycophancy, but through her art and hard work, Afsar's lawyer said in a statement. But the controversy over the palace is still lingering, as the complex's legality remains uncertain according to many critics. Turkey's Housing Development Administration, TOK, added fuel to the fire, refusing to divulge the cost of the palace on the grounds that the move could hurt the economy. For his part, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan revealed that the palace had 1,150 rooms describing the construction as necessary and arguing that its gargantuan size will add as much to the country's prestige.